this is Dr. Stanley Kim. Today, we will discuss colorectal cancer. About 150,000 people are diagnosed as having colorectal cancer every year. Luckily, the incidence is decreasing. However, in young people with age 55 or younger, uh, they develop more colon cancers, especially in the uh, left side of colon and the rectum. Because the uh, uh, colon cancer is a uh, large subject, we will discuss in two different parts. In the part one, uh, I will mention the uh, most updated information about the screening, diagnosis, and the staging. And in the part two, uh, we will discuss the uh, uh, cutting edge treatment, including precision medicine, uh, immunotherapy, and etc. Thank you for watching. The colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer, and it starts from an adenomatous polyp. There are two types of colon polyps, hyperplastic polyp and uh, adenomatous polyp. The hyperplastic polyp is benign. There is no risk of cancer. About 5% of adenomatous polyp progress to cancer. It takes about 10 years for an adenomatous polyp to become cancer which is the reason why screening colonoscopy is done every 10 years. When those uh, adenomatous polyp is a small in size, uh, five millimeter or less, it's a low risk, need a uh, follow a colonoscopy less frequently. But when it's large size, 10 millimeter or bigger, uh, it's a high risk and the follow up colonoscopy need to be done in three years. Screening starts at age 50 till 75, but the American Cancer Society recommends screening from age 45. After 75, it's individually decided. Most commonly, colonoscopy every 10 years, but non-invasive tests are also uh, uh, is good, using fecal immunochemical testing, FIT. It's done every year to detect the human globulin globin, a component of hemoglobin of the blood. Patients don't need to have any uh, dietary restriction. Previously, we used the guaiac fecal occult blood test. It, it is a, uh, uh, not very sensitive, and the patients have to avoid the uh, uh, red meat because the, the uh, blood of the animal meat can make the uh, uh, test falsely positive. Another high-tech fecal test is a Cologuard. It's a multi-target stool DNA uh, detecting the uh, uh, colon cancer genes and uh, uh, blood in the stool. It's done every three years. CT virtual colonoscopy is done every five years and is as good as colonoscopy with a, a better acceptability. Capsule colonoscopy is not approved for the screening in the US, but it's indicated after incomplete colonoscopy. If those non-invasive screening tests are positive, then colonoscopy has to be done within three months. High-risk patient starts early, African-American, age 45, when colonos colonoscopy found adenomatous polyps three to five years later. Inflammatory bowel disease like ulcerative colitis, patients has to have a, a screening uh, from eight years after diagnosis every one to three years. Familial colon cancer syndrome, like a Lynch syndrome, colonoscopy is start at age 25, and even uh, younger at uh, 10 to 15, when the patients have a familial polyposis syndrome. Uh, this is classical uh, colonoscopy, and then CT virtual colonoscopy, uh, using the three-dimensional uh, CT scan images, and you can see the, uh, uh, the images of colon and the inside of the colon. Look at the polyps here. And the camera colonoscopy, patients swallow that, uh, the, the capsule, which has the uh, camera. And then uh, it sends the uh, images to the uh, receiver, uh, patients to carry uh, for at least 24 hours. Look at this virtual colonoscopy. Here. Very good, as good as real colonoscopy picture. Colorectal cancer patients usually uh, come with a rectal bleeding. 
or uh, changes in the bowel habits, abdominal pain, or a mass. Frequently, I see the patients coming with the uh, iron deficiency anemia because they bleed uh, intermittently without even knowing uh, they are bleeding. Bowel obstruction and the perforations are poor prognostic sign. And about 20% have metastatic disease at the time of presentation uh, to the lymph nodes, liver, lung, or peritoneum. Diagnosis is done uh, with uh, using colonoscopy and the biopsy. When the patient was diagnosed as having colorectal cancer by colonoscopy and biopsy, they need to have a good history and physical and the blood test and the tumor marker CEA. The CEA over 5 nanogram per ml at diagnosis is a poor prognostic sign, but if its level decreases after surgery, it no longer indicates poor prognosis. The half-life of CA is a 3 to 5 days. It should normalize in 2 to 4 weeks after surgery. If not, patient needs to have investigation to look for any occult metastatic lesion. For imaging, CT scan of the chest, abdomen, and pelvis is the most important, but it may not be reliable for peritoneal metastasis. When the liver metastasis is suspected, MRI scan of the liver is the best. For rectal cancer, MRI of the pelvis and or transrectal endoscopic ultrasound is a very important uh, for local regional staging to help determine the type of surgery. PET CT is not routinely done before surgery. However, it's useful to find the location of occult cancer when patients have a recurrent disease with a rising CEA. The treatment will be discussed in part two, but let me briefly go over the surgical resection for colon cancer. Uh, right side of colon, right hemicolectomy is done. Transverse colectomy, left hemicolectomy, sigmoid resection for sigmoid cancer, and the patients, if the patients have a familial uh, colon cancer syndrome, then total colectomy is recommended. Make sure the patients have at least 12 regional lymph nodes are dissected to be accurately uh, assessed and they remove the uh, possible metastatic lymph nodes. For rectal cancer, when tumor locates in the upper two-third uh, rectum, then low anterior resection, LAR, is done. When the tumor locates in the lower one-third, then abdominal per perineal resection, APR, uh, has to be done and the creation of the uh, colostomy back because the anus also will be excised out. Most colorectal cancer is adenocarcinoma. There are four grades. Grade 1, well differentiated, 2, moderate, 3, poorly, 4, undifferentiated. Medullary carcinoma uh, is a mucin-producing cancer, often associated with a deficient MMR and MSIH, so it has a favorable prognosis. The staging depends on the uh, tumor invasion into the colon wall. Please look at this drawing. The colon wall has uh, three major layers, uh, mucosa and the muscle layer and the serosa. Uh, TIS is a carcinoma in situ. It's a non-invasive tumor, just confined in, in the uh, intramucosal uh, layer. T1 means it in tumor invades the submucosa. T2 means uh, it invades the uh, mus muscle layer, which is called the muscularis propria. T3 invades through the uh, muscularis propria into pericolorectal uh, tissues but not perforated yet. T4 means a tumor perforated whole uh, or, uh, colon wall. N0 means no regional lymph node metastasis. N1, uh, 1, 2, 3 regional lymph node positive. N1 has a N1, A, B, C. Please look at this drawing. N1 has a single lymph node metastasis. N1V is a, uh, up to three lymph node metastasis. N1C it has no lymph node metastasis, but there are tumor deposits in the uh, submucosa or, uh, or mesentery. N2 is more than four lymph node met metastasis. Now, metastasis. M0 means no distant metastasis. M1 means the metastasis to uh, distant uh, organ or peritoneal metastasis. Uh, stage 0 means uh, T. 
ISN0M0. So it's a non-invasive tumor. Stage 1 is a T1 or 2 and a no lymph node metastasis. Please look at this drawing, small tumor. Stage 2, tumor is a bigger but no lymph node metastasis. Stage 3 has a stage 3 A, B, C. Stage 3 A means the smaller tumor with the uh, lymph node metastasis up to three uh, lymph nodes. Uh, stage 3B means tumor is bigger and up to uh, three lymph node metastasis. Stage 3C means uh, tumor is bigger and uh, many lymph node metastasis. Stage 4 is a distant metastasis. Let's practice TMN staging. For example, T2N1M0, stage 3A, the tumor uh, penetrates to the muscle layer, uh, lymph node metastasis up to 3, no distant metastasis. The C means clinically staged before surgery. P means pathologically staged after surgery. Y means, uh, Y indicates the patients had a chemo or radiotherapy first before surgery. For precision medicine using specific targeted therapy or immunotherapy, we need to know the cancer cells' molecular genetics. About 20% of sporadic colorectal cancer has MMR gene mutation. MMR stands for mismatch repair. This gene repairs the mismatched DNA. This gene produces MMR enzyme to repair mismatched DNA and then if the enzyme is deficient, we use the term DMMR. If it's proficient, PMMR. When this enzyme is deficient, it causes the high MSI microsatellite uh, satellite instability of the cancer DNA. When this MSI is high, it's, we use the term MSIH. If it's low, MSI low, L. Interestingly, patients with the MSI high H due to deficient MMR enzyme in the cancer cells have a good prognosis. Therefore, uh, uh, stage, two, stage two patients with uh, uh, this MSA, MSI high don't need the adjuvant chemotherapy, even though the tumor may be uh, poor, poorly differentiated. More interestingly, cancer cells with this MSI, MSI high uh, deficient MMR are resistant to 5-AP chemotherapy, so you never use uh, 5-AP alone for those patients uh, having MSI H or DMMR. You must use with the uh, oxaloplatin like a uh, Falfox or a uh, Zilox Kpox. When the, this mutation develops only in the cancer cells, it's called a somatic mutation. But if it's uh, present in all cells throughout the body, it's called a wild type mutation. Those wild type mutations are inherited uh, as seen in the Lynch syndrome. ROS and the BREF are oncogenes involved in the cell growth and regulation. When these oncogenes are mutated, cells proliferate out of control. About half of colorectal cancer and the large size adenomatous polyp have a ROS mutation and the 10 to 15 have, percent have a BREF mutation. ROS positive uh, and or BREF Positive cancers are found more in the right side of the colon, are more aggressive and metastasize early. Patients with a ROS positive and their BREF positive cancers do not respond to EGFR inhibitors. I will discuss more in the uh, part two. TRK, topomycin receptor kinase, fusion protein positive cancer is rare, but respond to anti-TRK uh, uh, drugs very well, so it's important to know. High tumor mutation burden, TMB, cancer tend to respond to immunotherapy. The Lynch syndrome is the most important familial colorectal cancer. It's also called hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer, HNCC. It's caused by wild type mutation of MMR gene. About 3% of all colon cancer patients have a Lynch syndrome. 50 to 60% of Lynch syndrome patients develop colorectal cancer at age about 40s, and half of them uh, develop endometrial cancer, and the less frequently gastric ovarian and uh, prostate or uh, GU cancer. Because they have a deficient MMR and MSIH, they have a better prognosis. 
When they develop cancer, a total colectomy is recommended because the remaining uh, colon may develop cancer later. So the screening starts at early 20s and the, uh, 30s. Aspirin 600 mg a day for more than two years reduced the colorectal risk uh, in Lynch syndrome patients. Familial adenomatous polyposis, FAB, FAP, is due to FAP gene mutation, accounts for 1% of all colorectal uh, cancer. They have a hundreds or uh, if it's not thousand colon polyps starting at early age. So screening has to start in teenager. There are three types, attenuated FAP, Gardner syndrome, and Turcot syndrome. Another familial colorectal cancer, putz jagger syndrome. Patients have a hematomatous uh, polyps of GI tract and uh, mucocutaneous melanosis. Look at this photo. The, usually in the lips, you see the uh, dark pigmentation. MUTH associated polyposis is caused by mutation of MUTH genes. It's a DNA repair genes. Patients have a multiple colon polyps, high risk uh, GI cancer, and the thyroid cancer. Keep the uh, good vitamin D level is very important. Uh, uh, these are vitamin D rich foods. The low dose aspirin or even high dose aspirin are known to reduce the uh, colorectal cancer risk. And the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as Sulindec or Celebrex were reported to regress or prevent polyps. Thank you for watching.